Wurman FC TV with Adam Hitchwood, head of Dartford at home in the National League South. Looking ahead to it, Adam, it's a big tabletop in clash. What are your thoughts? Oh, yeah, great, great game to, to look forward to. Um, you know, we were top side uh, coming coming to our place. Um, so, yeah, expecting hopefully a big crowd. People want to come down and see that. Um, and so, yeah, great game to, to be part of as, as a manager, as a player. And like I say, hopefully, um, yeah, we can get a good turn out here. And, um, they can really support the lads because um, that's going to be a real tough test. They're on a good run. Um, beat every fleet, I think, over Christmas back to back. So, scored a lot of goals as well. So, they'll be full of confidence. And, you know, we're, we're playing some good stuff at the moment as well. So, yeah, it's, it's one to really look forward to. They're a team that's had a couple of week break like us, a few weeks away from action. Do you feel like any rustiness might come into play in the, in the game? Um, hopefully not. Hopefully not from, from our, our point of view. But, um, no, yeah, I think hopefully it'll be complete opposite that everyone's just eager to be back playing and getting games um, going and, and, you know, we've got uh, three games next week to look forward to um, and it's, a, it's, the, it's the first one of that, so yeah, hoping that everyone's going to be sort of raring to go. Dartford, one of the only, one of the only sides that, we've, uh, that they've been beaten by is us uh, early in the season. It was quite a while ago now, it was back in uh, late August. Obviously, sides are quite different now, but is there anything from that game you'd like to take into Saturday? Um, no, I think you know they're big, big sides. Um, you know, set piece is going to be important for us defensively. Um, we can't give away cheap free kicks because um, they're a real threat um, from those. And yeah, we've got to, got to definitely look to look to deal with that threat that they've got. Um, but yeah, we want to impose our game as well. Um, you know, I think if we can do that, then you know we could be a threat as well. So, yeah, like I say, it'll be both teams that will be going out to get the three points, and um, yeah, it'll be be a good spectacle. Hopefully, a couple of weeks away, as we mentioned, a little bit of time for a few players perhaps to rest up, such as uh, Liam Vincent. How are the squad looking, and is there anyone who might be absent? No, we've obviously got Luca's gone to Wattle to get some minutes um, with Aaron and, and Tutty on the brink of coming back, so I'm hoping them two might be available for minutes Saturday. Um, Liam and Mo Debra uh, are in tonight, but we'll assess them. I think this Saturday could be too soon for them both, but hopefully Tunbridge away, they'll both be available for that. So, yeah, that will bring the squad to you know a nice position. 18, 19 players that all want to start and all vying for that shirt and you know, that sort of bodes well. Um, hopefully training standards will be good tonight. Just touching back on Luke Focaraccio, he was out on loan at the start of the season, came back in uh, and did quite well actually fitting back into the team. What's the thinking of him going out on loan to White Hawk? That is done, done excellent. Um, yeah, I thought, um, you know, he was a little bit off it after his injury at the start, early part of the season, went and got some games and come back, it was excellent for us, got a good run of games. Um, but yeah, he was sort of playing ahead of Dan Bowery. Dan Bowery waited patiently, got his opportunities, come in and done well. Um, keeping clean sheets, Joe Rye, Ruben, um, got Tutty, Aaron and, and Joel. So there's there's good quality there and you know, with that much um, competition, I just thought his game time could be a little bit limited and you know, he's he's one, he's at an age where, you know, he needs to play and get regular minutes, that's how you improve as a player. Um, so yeah, that's the the key thing, I don't think we could have offered him regular minutes just at this stage with that personnel back. Um, so, yeah, just looking for him to go and carry on his development and, and, and get minutes under his belt. Just to go back ahead to Saturday and thinking of the crowd and everything, it's not the same match day as Brighton there on the day after us. How good it would be to have a few fans of Sussex football there on Saturday? No, it would be, yeah, definitely. Um, like I say, I think the performance has been relatively good. Hopefully, now we've got a win on our belt, under our belt, um, on a Saturday. So, yeah, I'm really hopeful that we can attract a, a big crowd, and um, you know we want to sort of put on a show and entertain, and make sure that they want to come back if they do come and watch. So, no, I think it'll be a really good game. So, yeah, really encourage um, as many people to to get down and um, spend their Saturday afternoon at Woodside, and hopefully they'll enjoy it.